Hi Charlotte, it's Auntie Katie Scarlet, and today we're going to be reading a story. It's by the Berenstein Bears, and it's called The Berenstein Bears Go to School. Here we go. So I got this out of the London Public Library. So maybe Mommy and Daddy can take you to the library so you can get your copy and you can read along next time. So the Berenstein Bears Go to School. And there's Sister Bear, and there's Brother Bear. There's Papa and Mama Bear. Berenstein Bears go to school. It says, when summer ends and the weather turns cool, most little bears are ready for school. And here they are, walking to school together. And here's the Bear County School. And look at the slide and the kid going down it. Having so much fun. So the story begins. It had been a wonderful summer for the Bear family. They had gone swimming and boating at the lake. They had picnicked in the woods and taken many walks along sunny paths. But now summer was just about over. There was a nip in the air. The birds were beginning to fly south and the leaves on the treehouse were changing colors. One evening at supper, Brother Bear said, I'm getting tired of summer vacation. I think I'm ready to go back to school. That is good news, said Papa Bear, because school will be starting again very soon. Sister Bear's ears perked up at the word school. Mama Bear noticed. As a matter of fact, she said, Sister and I are going to meet her new teacher tomorrow. This year, Sister would be starting kindergarten, and she wasn't quite sure how she felt about it. Sister's going to school for the first time. She liked being at home with her mother and father. She liked playing with her books and toys and all of her friends. At night time. What will school be like, Mama? Said, she asked at bedtime. You'll find out tomorrow, said Mama as she tucked Sister in and kissed her good night. The next day, Mama and Sister packed a lunch and took the long walk down the winding dirt road to the Bear Country School. And there they are along the road. And there's the Bear Country School. Handy Bear Gus was up on a ladder, fixing the roof. Hello, said Mama. This is Sister Bear. She starts kindergarten next week. We'll be glad to have her, said Gus. Miss Honey Bear is the kindergarten teacher. You'll find her inside. There's Gus up on the ladder. Oh, there we go. Look at the school. Hello there, said Miss Honey Bear in a loud, jolly voice. Come right in and look around. Sister thought Miss Honey Bear's voice was a little scary, but she let Miss Honey Bear take her hand and lead her into the kindergarten room. What a big, friendly room. It had yellow curtains and tables and chairs that looked just right for someone's sister size. What do you do in kindergarten? Sister asked as they sat down for lunch. We read stories, sing songs, learn our ABCs, paint pictures, play games, make things out of clay, Build with blocks? We do lots of things, said Miss Honey Bear. Those were all things Sister liked to do, and she had never seen such big jars of paint or such fine blocks. And there was even a whole barrel of clay. School might be fun, after all, thought Sister, by the time she and Mama started home. But when the big morning came, Sister began to worry. There's a school bus. 
Mama, she said, what if I don't like school? What if I just don't like it? Just then, the big yellow school bus pulled up to the treehouse. Stop worrying, said brother. School is fun. You'll like it. Now let's get going or we'll miss the bus. He grabbed her by the hand and away they went. On the school bus. Every so often, the bus stopped and more bears climbed on. Most of them were excited, like brother but some of the smaller ones were quiet like sister. As more and more friends climbed on, they got noisier and noisier, and the smaller ones got quieter. The little bears, the little bear who sat next to sister began to look worried. So she smiled at him and held his hand. There they are, sister and her new friend. There we go. At last the bus arrived. The Bear Country School looked very nice. Handy Bear Gus had fixed the roof and painted the trim and cut the grass. Miss Honey Bear's kindergarten room looked beautiful. Everything was ready. And look at all the kids running in. Before very long, the kindergartners got noisy. Two of them wanted to play with the same dump truck. Two others wanted to look at the same book. And a whole gang of them wanted to be the first to play with the blocks. What a commotion! Suddenly, a loud, jolly voice called out, Story time! Miss Honeybear was calling the class to the book corner. Look at all of her books! That quieted things down. After the story, Sister tried everything. She painted a picture. There's a beautiful picture. She helped build a block city. Made a giant clay donut. And looked at the books. She ate all of her bread and honey at snack time. And she fell asleep at nap time. Look at her sleeping there. There we go. When she climbed off the school bus with brother at the end of the day, sister was excited. She was the excited one. Mama and Papa, look what I did in school today, she said, holding up her painting. There's the bear house. A few days later, the weather turned warm again, as it sometimes does in the fall. Brother was restless at breakfast. I wish it was still summer vacation, he said, so I wouldn't have to go to school today. Oh, come on, brother bear, said sister. School is fun. Let's get going, or we'll miss the bus. Hmm. <laughs> There's the bus. On the bus, all the bears were talking about the things they were going to do at school. Soccer practice, science projects, music lessons, all kinds of things. Hmm, thought brother. Sister Bear was right. School is fun. And off they went in the big yellow bus to the Bear Country School. All done. Now, we have other books if you want to read more books or if it's time to go to bed, nighty night. But come back and come to this site and hopefully we'll get to read some more books together. Love you, darling.